Norman, before I, I go f I go far on this issue uh, of me comparing pirates uh, in the past, I think it was blown out of proportion by you guys. You, you come to press conferences with ulterior motives. Because what I was saying there, I was talking about the shape. Uguti, the passer has got three center backs, they have got two wing backs, and they have got two central midfielders, one nine and two tens, just like Pirates has been playing. I was not saying Pirates is at the level of the passer. But because, you know, when you are a sport journalist, you have a responsibility to educate the country and help the country, not to always try to bring sensationalism into into the game because one day it will come back and bite you. So if you are objective in your analysis and you are critical and if you don't understand what one is saying and you just come out openly and ask me what do you mean by this, it makes it easier than than wanting to always create a rift amongst amongst uh, teams and coaches and all that because that's what I was referring to which in as much as this opposition is not uh, probably very strong but structurally, it will help us to practice for a match that we are going to play for, to play for, to play with Paris. Because structurally, they are structured almost the same way. And that was that was for me uh, not comparing the quality of the two teams, but comparing the structures that the two teams were using over the past few matches. And that is what I was saying. And uh, to be honest with you, I, I I like to play big matches. I don't want to lie to you. I, I, I hate these matches where when you go to the match you are already expected to win. Because those matches that's where you get pleasantly surprised and humbled. You know, but when you are playing a big match you know uh, everybody is intrinsically motivated to play that match from the player's side. And you as a coach you dig a little bit deeper, you, you want to try and understand exactly what makes this particular team to be regarded as a big team as compared to other teams that may be regarded as smaller teams. So it, it makes you to, to dig a little bit deeper and be more meticulous in looking at exactly what is happening. Uh, that makes them to, be, to have the respect that they have because you, you, you want to win. You want to win that match as a coach. The players want to win that match, but also you have a responsibility to strike the balance because sometimes uh, the desire to win the match makes you to be over anxious, which I think in the previous match in Orlando, our team was made some elementary mistakes because we were too anxious, maybe trying too hard to make an impression. So the match like Pir with, with Pirates now, in, honestly speaking, I believe Pirates is playing good football. And uh, I will not want to take that away from them. And I also believe we play good football. And that, as, as somebody who is a student of the game and who likes good football, I want those matches. I don't want matches where the other one is sitting, is not, does not want to play, the other one is playing. I want a game of football where it's a contest and everybody wants to, to get the result. Maybe by dominating the ball and dominating the pitch. And yesterday, in the previous match, Pirates really, really did what they were supposed to do to win the match. They got more chances to win the match in the previous match. And that for me, it's always uh, an inspiration to, to say, what did we do wrong? And we, we dig deeper and see how best can we improve in that aspect. But truth be told, it's a, it's a match that you also have the interest to watch it.